good day once again my name is graphics now today we want to construct angle 146 3 quarter that is 146 3 over 4 right now like I said earlier the first thing you first of all do is to draw your horizontal line so draw my horizontal line, assume this is your C square, your T square, you draw a horizontal line this way, right? And you pick a point from that line. Let's say we're taking this point here, point A. And you measure your line. Let me say the line is uh, 50, right? From 1 to 5, 50. So I'm going to take in the line from this point. To this point so this is a and this is what this is b now you now ask yourself 146 falls between let's see 90 after 90 we have 45 plus 90 to give us 145 135 then 135 plus 45 will give us what 180 right so it falls in between 135 and what 180 so that means we need to draw 90 and we also need to draw 45 again so let's see how that goes now i will take my c square assume this is my c square here my t square here and i'll place it this way and i'm going to take my my 90 degree probably i can use this as my 90 also and I'm going to stand it on that point, right? I'm going to stand it there. I will draw the 90, right? So if I take it this point, this is um, 90. I will draw my faint line 90, right? Now the next thing I will do is to draw 45. So this is zero. This horizontal line is 0, the vertical here is 90, right? And if I move my 45 to this side, I'll draw this, this is angle 45, and that is 45, right? So 90, and this is 45, 45 plus 90, that gave me 135. So it means that this is 135, and this is what? 180 degree right and go on a straight line now if you look in between my 146 3 quarter falls between 135 and 180 right and the distance the difference between 135 and 180 is 45 degree right it's 45 what 45 degree so if i bisect 45 degree i'm going to have 22 and a half so let's bisect it now let me enlarge this a little bit so if you bisect it if I place it here and I draw my horizontal line this way, right now, if you notice something where the line intersects my 135, I'll place it with the same radius at that point and I'll strike an arc where the same line intersects 180, which is at this point. I'll place at this point here, I'll strike another arc, I'll cut it right so i will now take my rule and draw to pass through that point so passing through that point i'm going to have this now if you notice this now since i bisect we said earlier that the difference between 180 and 135 is 45. now if i say 45 you are having what 22 and a half so this is 135 and this is 22 and a half. So 22 and a half plus 135 will give us what? One, 157 and a half. So it means that this line here, this line here is 157 and a half. Right? Now we know very well that in between 135 and 157 and a half, right, is what? 22 and a half. So, taking. so if I bisect 22 and a half, I'm going to have 11 three quarter. Because the angle between the difference between 157 and a half and 135 is what 22 and a half. So if I bisect it, I will have 11 three quarter. 
so I don't have to draw another inclined line. I'll just use this two point because my one forty six and a half, one forty six three quarter falls be in between one thirty five and one fifty seven and a half. So I'm going, and the difference between both of them is um, twenty two and a half. So I'll bisect twenty two and a half, and I know that if I bisect twenty two and a half means I'm dividing twenty two and a half into two. So I'll place on the line on that arc that cuts the 135 I'll place it there I will strike an arc I'll place on the line that cuts the 157 and a half I'll place it there also I'll strike another arc so where they meet I will know when you by set in turn the half you have 11 3 quarter so I will just draw this line and I am going to thicken it now thickening it means that this is 11 3 quarter 11 3 quarter plus 135 and the 135 will give us what 146 3 quarter right so 146 what 3 quarter so this is my 146 you see that since i've been drawing all these angles i'm always thickening one particular line because the line i need that i'm always what thickening so that means the angle between i'll now place my compass here so the angle between here and here right is 146 3 quarter so the angle i'll just place it this way and here which is what i need is what 100 and what 46 304 right so if you found this video helpful please don't forget to click on the subscribe button thanks for watching